Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's Friday and so we have another faves. Still enjoying these videos from my side. How are you feeling about them? I am going to uh, talk through a couple of makeup things and then I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you some other lifestyle -y things and food things that I've been really enjoying. It's gonna be quicker this week because it's so warm outside and I don't wanna stand in front of these lights and film. I just want to get in a cold bath. Um, so, as well, some of these things are hot weather appropriate. Uh, first of all, I wore this in Wednesday's video, if you didn't watch that, it was a get ready with me. I was just kind of talking you through the makeup that I'm wearing right now, but this is kind of a version of the makeup that I've been wearing pretty much constantly. So like the whole base, what I do with the kind of like sheeny um, liquid blush mix thing and uh, just everything. So if you've been interested at all, that video is for you. Underneath it all, I'm wearing this Primark Illuminating Primer. If you didn't see my Primark show, the, the thing, if you didn't see my Primark beauty video, I unboxed a bunch of stuff that Primark sent to me. I'm steadily getting through it and testing it, so I will talk about it as and when, if it's a particular highlight, or if it's super terrible and I think you should avoid it. So look out for those reviews. But this one I'm really, really liking. So I'll show you on the back of my hand. Although again, I did show you in that video on my entire face. It's a really nice, it's not totally subtle, you can still see it, look it's like a ooh, glow, but it's not crazy crazy highlightery. I don't feel like you could replace a normal highlight with this, it's just like it makes your skin kind of look dewy, do you know? It's not like a full blown shimmery highlight, in fact looking at it on my hand I would say they've perfectly perfected that kind of sheen that I love so much. The reason that I loved the Hourglass powders way back when, when highlight was like really, really popular and everyone was doing that like frosty Instagram highlight. I was not into it at all. Lindsay Kelk called it, I think she called it the sexy robot highlight. Was not my jam. I really, really liked that kind of very subtle sheen that just looked like you were kind of just, just glowing from within. And that is this from Primark. Really, really impressed. So I'm wearing that today underneath my makeup and I've been really enjoying it on its own and with that and maybe just a little bit of concealer because it's not so crazy that you can't wear it, that you have to like cover it up, you know, because some stuff is a little bit out there, but just a nice glow, a little bit of concealer, very nice for summer. I have a confession. I talk about SPF and needing to wear SPF. I wear SPF every single day on my face, on my chest, sometimes on my hands, it depends how lazy I'm feeling. But I always, always do that because I use Tretinoin every night with my Skin and Me subscription, which is supposed to be anti-aging. And um, I've seen some amazing results with it because I've also got melasma and that has faded and the whole thing. I think it's fantastic, but you absolutely need to wear SPF because it's gonna make your skin more sensitive. On top of that, we should all be wearing SPF anyway. And if you need another reason, vanity vanity. Look up some pictures before and after. Those trucker pictures really sold me. The ones where you can see how much more one side of their face is aged than the other because they've been in the sun all of the time. My dad actually had skin cancer on his ear. He um, plays golf a lot and he would SPF but not on his ears. He didn't think about his ears and he um, ended up having to have a part of his ear cut off. SPF guys, SPF. With that hypocritical command still fresh in your mind, look at my back. It's sore. Yesterday, I went out in the garden. I was out pretty much all day. I didn't intend to be, but I was. I was just like cleaning up the garden, um, weeding, painting stuff. I just all the entire day in the garden. And obviously, I SPF'd. I was wearing leggings and a sports bra. And that was all I was wearing. No t-shirt or anything on top of it. And at one point, it was about two o'clock. And that was not long before I actually went inside, I thought, ooh, my back is really warm. I should have put some sun cream on. The damage was already done. So when Lee got home, he was like, number one, do you want me to go and get you some after sun? Because that looks nasty. We didn't have any after sun, so I had to um, improvise with other things. I used my red light therapy mask, because I was like, I'm sure this is good for inflammation. If this isn't nonsense, this might help. Um, so I was like, I'm putting my red light therapy mask against my back for the majority of the evening. Uh, and then when I went to bed, I saw this on my side. I've been using this a lot. This is the Boots Tea Tree Witch Hazel Back and Body Spray. Um, and it says, fight spots, causes, uh, fight spot causing bacteria, clears spots and blemishes. So I use it just like on my arms, on my chest, on my back. I love it. I, I love the smell of tea tree so much. When I was spraying it, Lee went, oh, 
What's that smell I was like? It's the best smell in the world. It's great. And I absolutely think it's helped to keep my um, body clear because I do tend to get still um, some raised kind of blemishes. Sometimes it looks a little bit rushy. I've talked about this before. But as a teenager, I didn't have acne on my face, but I had it on my arms, my chest, and my back. And so I have a bit of a thing about it. Um, so I really, really enjoyed it for that reason. But I read on the back, so I was like, I wonder if I can use this. It says, reduces redness and inflammation of the skin. I didn't stop there, I Googled it. And apparently witch hazel and tea tree are both ingredients that people over the years have used to treat sunburn. So I used this on my back last night. And although I didn't have, you know, I should still probably go out and get some after sun because it's still got some heat in it. I can't tell you how cross I was with myself. And even as Lee was putting cream on for me last night, he was like, you who's always talking about sun cream. He also said that my um, back had probably aged 10 years which I did not appreciate. But I wanted to mention this in case you wanted something um, in addition to the regular stuff that you use because it was so refreshing and cooling. It was really, really nice on my skin. I can't tell you that it took a, like everything away, but in the moment, at least for an hour, it took the heat out of that burn that was really quite uncomfortable. So bit of a double duty product. I definitely would not have thought that, I mean, I obviously did think because I thought to look at it, but. I wouldn't have just put it on my skin without checking because I was like, mm, this is supposed to kind of clear so it's drying. But no, apparently it's actually a fairly decent um, after sun. Another spray that I use, well, I use this all the time because in the winter when I get really dry, I use it. I always take this on a flight. She says like she's a jet setter. She's not. Um, this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Miracle Hydrating Mist. I think I've had three of these. They are fantastic. They are just like a beautiful mist. Have you ever seen a mist so gorgeous? It also smells really light and refreshing. It's not the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour scent, which I think is probably something that puts people off. So hydrating. I like to tell the story of the time that I first had this. I'd actually been to see the PR for Elizabeth Arden and my friend and I uh, were going to New York. Again, makes us sound super jet set. This was a one off trip. Um, but we went to New York and I was saying to her, like, we're going to do all of this stuff, like, facial-wise, and we're going to get off this plane and we're going to look fantastic. I took a picture when we were in the taxi in New York, and I swear to God, you would never have imagined in a million years that not only had we just got off a long-haul flight, but we hadn't slept for, like, a day and a half. Amazing. And this, I attribute to most of that. It just keeps you hydrated constantly, and especially in an environment where it's super air-conditioned. It doesn't have to be an aeroplane. It could be anywhere. But a super air-conditioned environment, your skin is constantly drying out. And at this time of year, when you're getting really dehydrated because it's so hot, it's really, really good. It's not super cheap, but it lasts a decent amount of time, and it's very, very effective hydration for the skin. Now, let's go downstairs, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've been enjoying this week. My new coffee machine. It's not always the cleanest because the teenager learned how to use it, which is not ideal, but I love having a proper espresso maker. I got it for a really, really good price. Um, I got it through John Pie auction site, which they've sponsored me before. I haven't spoken to them in years. Um, my friends are building a house and they're furnishing it a lot of stuff they've got from John Pie, um, just because it's like, you know, a larger space and they need more stuff and it was the cheapest way to do it. So they found some really, really good bargains on that, which reminded me to have a look. And I found this and I got it for about half the price of what it would usually be. The only issue I have is the coffee that I've been buying is not actually finely ground enough. So I have to grind it more in a separate coffee grinder. So it will give me a strong enough coffee. Otherwise it would be really weak. I'm yet to work out the milk frothing thing. I've watched videos and the issue that I'm having so far is basically the milk needs, like the, the frothing element needs to stay like hot enough and it keeps flashing back to the coffee and so then water comes out instead of steam. It's gonna take some practice, but for now, I'm still using my beloved Nespresso. The espresso maker is way quicker than my mocha pot was. However, if you're like, do I need one? I have a mocha pot or I have another means of making espresso, you don't. It's not better, it's just a nice to have and definitely a quicker way of making my coffees in the morning. Just after I'd made my coffee, my mom came round. So, um, picking up where I left off. I also wanted to mention this really, really creamy, gorgeous vanilla yogurt, sweetened, but not like honey or a certain flavor, granola on top, current favorite breakfast. Um, I'm leaving my sunglasses on because underneath my sunglasses, 
last suggestion is a TV recommendation and it is Hacks. If you've never seen any of it, the first season is great. The second, I mean, we just finished the second season. It's on Prime. So good. It's about um, a comedian in Vegas who's had a residency for like decades and um, she's being replaced by a younger person and she finds this younger joke writer. They don't really like each other. Um, it's just so, so brilliantly put together. It's one of the best shows I've seen in ages. Plus it's in Vegas, which is a massive plus for us. Um, but I wanted to mention it because we watched the finale of season two yesterday and I just thought, how did I not mention this the first time around? If you are looking for something to watch, it's great. And that's it. And now I'm gonna go and edit this video and probably change clothes, honestly, because I feel so sweaty, not built for this heat.